Today on Tuesday's Tidbits, we're going to be talking about life insurance. I hope you enjoy. We're just a couple of days away from the first day of September, which is Life Insurance Awareness Month. So there's that dreaded word, life insurance. Ah, everybody runs for the hills. Nobody wants to talk about it. You know, it's interesting. This is a subject that often gets avoided, but it can be an extremely powerful piece of somebody's overall financial planning. There are a number of people uh, well thought of in the industry Ed Slots, if you happen to know who Ed Slots is, he's a CPA out of New York. He'll tell you, I do not sell life insurance. I'm not licensed to sell life insurance. However, life insurance has the greatest tax benefit in the tax code. That's his words, not mine. Banks. Bank of America owns over $24 billion of cash. They have stuffed in life insurance. They own more cash in life contracts than they do real estate. Kind of interesting. Wells Fargo has over 18 billion of cash. They've stuffed into life insurance contracts. They again have more cash in life contracts than they do real estate. Why do you think that is? Obviously there's something good going on there, but that's really a conversation for another day. Today we want to talk more about the basics of life insurance. So the whole purpose that we even own life insurance typically is we're trying to protect someone or something. It can be used in a personal setting. It can be used in a business setting. But when it's put in place and it's put in place properly, there's nothing else that'll do what it will do. And we start talking about life insurance, really you have two extremes. On the one side, you've got term insurance, and that you get here, you, you hear talked about a lot in the media, especially with financial entertainers. And on the far other side, you have some form of whole life insurance. And then there's all kind of mix in between. And the easiest way to explain it is when we have term insurance, we're renting our coverage, just like you rent a home. There's no equity that ever accumulates. You're simply paying for the protection. You're paying for the mortality costs. You have a set price for a period of time, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, maybe 30 years. After that, it all has to be renegotiated if you're eligible. On the other hand, you have some form of permanent insurance. In, in this case, we mentioned whole life insurance. And on the other hand, you pay a higher premium, but it's a level premium. That premium can be paid for the rest of your life, never changing or it can be squeezed into a short period of time, 10 years, 20 years, where you pay at that period of time, then you stop paying, but your coverage follows you for the rest of your life. And then there's, again, a mix in the middle. There are universal life contracts, which is a hybrid of a term, an annual renewable term with a side account. There's indexed universal life, which is one of the newest kids on the block. There's variable life insurance, and that actually involves investments inside of the account. So it's imperative that somebody have a good grasp of what it is they're trying to do in order to determine which coverages are going to make the most sense. I can tell you from my own personal experience, I've got a mixture of coverages. I've got some term. I've got some participating whole life. I've got some variable life. They each are there to serve a different purpose. And they each, in the position that they're in, there's nothing else that will do what they will do. There's no way to replicate what they're going to do. Empirical evidence shows us from academic studies, when somebody can carry life insurance into retirement, they actually can create a better overall outcome. In most cases, it ends up meaning more income for the retiree. It can mean lower taxes, depending on how it's strategically positioned. And it ends up meaning more that goes ultimately to the next generation. 
So it's a win-win all the way around. If you have questions about this topic or anything else related to insurance, don't hesitate to give Terry or myself a call here at Westside Advisors and Insurance Services. I hope you have a great week. Thank you.